Howdy, Larry Dixon here. Welcome to another postcard from Moorhead. What is on the menu today? Bagel, egg, and cheese sandwich. And also I'm going to do one with sausage instead of bacon. This was inspired to me because McDonald's offered these several years ago. And we absolutely loved them. They're a great sandwich. So I'm going to duplicate that today on my griddle. But before I get into that, I want to talk to you for just a minute about Steel Made USA griddle tops. For years, I used just the plain old grill, propane grill. And my friends started saying how much they loved their griddle, the flat top griddle. Well, I couldn't afford to go out and didn't want to go out and just buy a flat top griddle regardless of the brand. So I did a little investigation and I found a company called Steel Made USA and they make flat tops that will go on your grill and turn it into a flat top griddle. So if you check out their website, one of the items that I did not initially order was a grease trap. I've already got the grease trap installed here on the back side of this because after three or four flare-ups, I thought, I need a grease trap. So I've got uh, the flat top grease trap. The flat top comes with spatulas and a few other accessories. Absolutely one of the best investments I ever made and a cheap way to get into flat top griddling if you already own a grill but you don't want to get rid of the grill. So I'm going to warm this puppy up and we're going to make our bagel, bacon, egg and cheese, bagel, sausage, egg and cheese sandwich right here on the flat top griddle. So before I start uh, creating my bagel, egg, bacon, cheese sandwich and one with sausage. I want to show you the ingredients and I'm going to step it up a notch from what McDonald's did because McDonald's did not put tomato, they did not put lettuce on theirs. That makes it a real sandwich. So I, uh, I've got my lettuce, extra thick hardwood smoked bacon, thick slice, that's important, my bagels, a ripe juicy red tomato, couple of slices of cheese and for me I love extra sage pork sausage and this is from Skinner Farms extra sage couple of eggs to go with the, the bagel and I'm going to show you something that I really have fallen in love with is these egg rings these are the coolest thing ever was on the griddle. Keeps your eggs from running all over the place and it makes your egg fit your bagel. It makes a perfect fit. But one important step when you're using these egg rings on the griddle, use a non-stick spray. And I'm gonna show you how I do that here in just a few minutes because if you don't, your egg is gonna to stick to this and you're gonna end up with a mess. So non-stick spray on your egg rings. So when the griddle warms up, get ready. We are going to start cooking bagel, egg, cheese, bacon, and then one with sausage. We are ready to start cooking our bagel, bacon, cheese, bagel, sausage, cheese, sandwich. Check the temperature. Yep, right where I want it. Lay that to the side, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with uh, putting my bacon on. Now, Lenore likes her bacon floppy, so it's going to fry up fairly quick. Get some of that bacon grease on there. Now, the next item that I'm going to uh, put on is this big old gob of sausage. So I've just made a round ball of sausage, I'm going to put it right on there and I'm going to squish it nice and flat. It's almost the exact 
size that I need to fit on my bagel. So I'm going to watch this real close. That bacon's frying up quick as you can see. This griddle is hot. I didn't have to put any oil on there because this pork is going to put plenty of, of grease, plenty of fat on that griddle. Turn that temperature down just a little bit. Like I say, Lenore likes hers floppy. I like mine crispy. Also, when you went to McDonald's and got their bacon bagel, yeah, you may got a little bit of bacon. I'm giving Lenore three thick slices on her bagel. That is going to make one monster of a sandwich. While this is frying up, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Click like, hit the dinghy bell, and you'll get future episodes of Postcard from Moorhead. I'm going to do some travel, uh, show you some places that I go out to eat, uh, some very interesting places. Maybe do a little bit of photography, but uh, right now, let's check out the bacon. Well, Lenore's bacon is uh, it's done, but it's still floppy. I'm going to put it right over here in this little warming tray for her while my sausage continues to fry up. It's going to take a little bit longer. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean this off. off. On my next step, I'm going to toast my bagel. Then I'm going to do the eggs because they don't take very long. Going to check my uh, sausage to see how it's coming along. Oh yeah, it needs to cook a little bit longer. So, I'm going to put just a little bit of oil on here so I can toast my bagels. Then, I'm going to put some butter on there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. That'll only take a minute or two to toast those up. Next step I'm going to do is my eggs. And like I said, you want to do the eggs over here on this cooler side because I don't want them to fry up as fast. Put that on there. Put my egg rings on there. I'm going to let them warm up for just a minute. And I said, you know, the uh, nonstick spray, the nonstick spray is critical for these egg rings to keep them from sticking. So I'm going to put some spray on there nicely, keep it from sticking. Check that bagel. Oh, they're toasting up nicely. And I'm going to put, crack my egg, put it right there in the egg ring where it's not on the hot side what do we need salt and pepper on our egg mm -mm. put a little pepper a little salt and I think it may be time to check our bagel, see how they're toasting up. Oh, they're coming along. Eggs are frying up nicely. Oops, no 10 second rule, I went and washed it off. Pull that egg away from the ring. Let's see, I'm gonna lift. Oh, look at that. Lift that egg ring right off of there. Perfect fit for the bagel. My uh, sausage, it has, uh, it is perfect. I'm going to put it over here on the warming rack. So, I think we need to flip our eggs. Our eggs, look at that. Our eggs are perfect.
perfect. Well done. Going to put them on this little warming rack right here. Give that a chance to uh, kind of warm up and melt. Put that egg on there. Turn the heat off. Put the sausage on mine and Lenore's. There goes one, two, three, very slick, three very thick slices. So let's go ahead and I'm going to build mine right here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put a little mayo on mine. Spread that all over. I'm going to put my slice of tomato, my lettuce. So there is my bacon sausage egg. So I'm going to slice this puppy open and we're going to see what it looks like. Eat your heart out, McDonald's. You wish you'd come up with this. Mm-mm, look at that. Sausage, tomato, lettuce, mayonnaise, and an egg. Mm-mm. Now that is some good eating. Hit that subscribe button. Try this at home. You're going to love it. This is Larry Dixon, postcard from Moorhead. See you next time around the sun. Hit that subscribe button.